figuring out what you like what you don't like i mean a lot of people don't do calisthenics when bodybuilding but i do both because i enjoy doing it not like there's a wrong or right it's just simply it suits me so yeah no matter what it is just get into a gym and eventually you'll figure it out um there's multiple online videos, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. There's so much information there if you want to get started. But yeah, gym is like the really, really the one place that you really get to learn who you, who you are, how far you can take things. Oh wait guys, how are you doing? So today, um, yeah, I was actually lying in bed just now and I just had a really bad day. Well, not really a bad day, but it's just I woke up very negative, you know, and usually what I do with that is I would tell myself, I have rules, I'll tell myself, okay, get up, do step one, step two, step three and my first step is to always find a way to exercise you know just to get moving because that eventually that would put you in a better mood or that that's what it does to me so right now today is sunday i just posted a youtube video now and i thought to myself okay i'm gonna challenge myself to go to gym now go film because I didn't want to do any of this I didn't want to go film I don't want to do anything then I thought about it but no I'm gonna challenge myself and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna prove to myself that I am capable and that it's just a matter of whether I want to want my goals or my dreams bad enough or not so yeah there's not much planned today I thought just stretching but just you know Get a video out of me stretching edited everything today and then post it because i did say to myself that you know one video a week is a minimum but if i can i'll get more out and it's the prime example i would have been sitting at home doing nothing but instead doing this i'm a step closer to my goals so yeah, stay tuned. I don't know how long still can I commit to growing my hair out. It's starting to get like really irritating. Oh. But oh well, I could always just cut it off. But yeah, I'm in the gym now. Um, probably gonna start off with some just normal pull ups just to stretch out my back. That's what I usually always do. And yeah, from there on we'll see, we'll have it figured out. But like today, like I said, it's one of those days, you know, where you just have absolutely nothing in mind. Um, it's just to clear my mind, basically. I love it when the gym is so empty. I, I can film just freely. Normally I just do my pull-ups there, so yeah. So, don't know if you guys can see, eh? I got a, like a fanny pack that's inspired by Mr. Nicholas. Okay, so inside has all the 
here I have my spare phone for footage and also the casing for the microphone so yeah, very handy highly recommend So I have an interesting question for you guys, comment below if you think training 7 days a week is efficient because yeah, one of the most debated topics with my friends, I mean that's my routine or was at a stage, now Saturdays normally I take a break just like a recovery but at a stage I trained from Monday to, to Sunday so yeah, that was very intense especially with the cardio in the mornings as well I did um, like 5k's in the mornings and then after that I breakfast, go gym and then yeah all those fun stuff so yeah, comment below if you think 7 days a week, training 7 days a week is efficient or what is the most optimal days to train one of my favorite exercises to train or not exercise body part is for sure chest I mean ever since I was like a fat kid I had like a strong chest so whether it was like benching incline decline my chest was almost my always my dominant area until um grade I think six or five I, I broke my arm and that kind of gave me an imbalance on my entire left side um, so I've been trying to just train it more at least my le right, left pick more just so that it gets a bit more even um, yeah but you know there's a lot of fitness creators out there um, that tell you okay this this training method will work or that training method will work if you don't do this you won't get the physique or if you don't do that I say just start um, fitness the beauty of this journey is learning new stuff figuring out what you like what you don't like I mean a lot of people don't do calisthenics when bodybuilding but I do both because I enjoy doing it not like there's a wrong or right it's just simply it suits me so yeah no matter what it is just get into a gym and eventually you'll figure it out um there's multiple online videos youtube instagram tiktok you name it there's so much information there if you want to get started but yeah uh, gym is like the really really the one place that you really get to learn who you who you are how far you can take things in my 
And my plan coming today was literally just get into the gym. It doesn't matter what I do. I already did more than what I was gonna do. And that's all that matters. I mean, I also, I knew I wanted to come in here and just actually chat to you guys a bit more, open up a bit more, just speak about my mind. Just to think how grateful I am for everything I have. The ability to just wake up every day and just chase my dreams, make videos, make content, inspire people. And yeah, today's a Sunday. I mean, I'm excited to go to church at six. And what more can you ask? It's for me, it's so beautiful to see the growth, the journey. I'm finding out what my what really motivates me or what's my passion, um, what's my hobbies, who I who I am, what's my interest. And most importantly, just learn the ability to stick to one thing, you know. When you got nothing else, at least this gym, you know, at least I know I can come to gym if everything goes to shits. Yeah. Okay, I really hope you guys can see me. You know, biggest thing for me is now still getting comfortable to film even with people around me, you know, to speak. Ugh. But as you can see, there's not really a structure going with, uh, with the workout. It's just more full body, wherever I feel like I'm lacking. Normally, for me, it's just chest, some shoulders, some back, some stretching. But I mean, see, I could have been just lying in my bed, scrolling through TikTok, doing nothing, getting nothing done. But just because I committed, I am now here filming a video just to show you guys the power of decisions. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I stayed at home, but simply because I chose to come, I am a step ahead. Whereas in, I would have been the same. So, uh, don't know if you guys can see where I'm going to. Like, for those of you who still considering starting a YouTube video or a channel or TikTok or whatever social media you said you wanted to start, I mean, just start it, bro. By the time you decide to get it out, get a video out, there's oaks out there, 50 videos already out. I mean, really, no one cares. Until you make it or start making it. Um, but yeah, like I started knowing nothing about YouTube and I just I just started. Did it, did, did the process and now I'm getting more and more familiar day by day. I mean eventually I'll be so efficient I can get a vlog out every single day. Well, that's the goal. Um, I did that with TikTok, I did that with Reels. Surely I don't see why not with YouTube. But that's definitely a big commitment. And um, not yet. Um, I have to get a bit more comfortable with editing. Ah. 
Jeez. I wonder what's going on there. That's very cool. Just experimenting with the angles. You know, the more I do this, the more experience I'll get. You know, eventually knowing exactly which angle to film, what angles look the best, what shots. But see, would have known if I didn't do it. One, two. Oh, guys, you know, I cannot explain how excited I am like, to get my first pay from YouTube. But you know, you have to first get a thousand subscribers. Hence why I'm working so hard. I feel like that's just gonna motivate me even more to do more efforts in my video, put more work. And I mean, not like I'm not giving my best. It's just I feel like there's so much more to learn. Like editing skills, my confidence in front of the camera, the ability to engage in conversations with people. Just overall, oh yeah, I feel like I'm ranting a lot now. I'll have a lovely chest pump going on here. Okay, so why not be very creative with this? The angles. One. So I'm almost done. I've been here for about like two hours now, two and a half. Gonna go do cardio now, incline treadmill, and then some weighted abs on the app machine. And yeah, then I'm done. But I mean, I really enjoyed today's sesh. Um, when I entered the gym, I was really in a down mood. I mean, already I'm in so much better mood. I am so much more positive. Life makes sense again, you know. Uh, yeah, Oaks, if you're not gymming, what are you doing? I mean, the gym can literally save your life, bro. Save mine. Gave me purpose in life. I mean, before gym, I used to drink every weekend, party. I mean, that was so meaningless. Felt so empty inside, so lost, didn't know who I was. I mean, I had nothing going on for me. Yeah, yeah. So, people often ask me, Jen, what is your riz? How do you riz up hands? Firstly, I'm past that time, you know, I have a hand. But if I didn't have a hand, this is my riz. Let me quickly show you guys. Oh, damn. I didn't see there was an oak there, so we just have to now wait for him to finish. Okay, you guys mustn't blink, eh? Watch this. Uh, I'm still in the process of learning how to do a human flag, but yeah.
Okay. Yeah, boy, it's finally done. Um, did some cardio, uh, some abs, weighted abs, and then I went and spammed some carbs. Um, Cause yeah, you can never do too much carbs. But thank you once again for you guys to watch to the end, stuck to the end. Really appreciate you guys following my journey. I mean, today was another example of how how easy it is. Or let me find the right words. Um, how easy it is if you put your mind to it. You know. I mean, I could have. I, I, I was contemplating. Oh, should I come? Should I do this? Should I do that? Wherever I, I just fucking did it. It would have been so much easier. Easier if I said, okay, fuck, I'm gonna do it. Instead of being hesitant. Um, but yeah, consider subscribing. Um, please like the video and then comment uh, what you guys would like to see in the future or any questions you have regarding my life that I can include in the next video. Um, but yeah, that is it for now. Thank you guys. Gonna, yeah, got her in the next week now. Got coming. Ooh, okay. Cheers.